Welcome back to our channel, Chief Neer Krishnan here. Uh, this video I will be showing you, I wanted to show you how we do the cyclic tests in uh, ME engine. Um, before we do the cyclic test, the engine will be in the finish with engine mode. With the HPS pump, you start in manual and uh, please remember to keep the other pump in auto. So, for doing the HPS test, it is uh, you can go to maintenance, troubleshooting, and uh, suppose uh, I want to do the cyclic test for uh, exhaust valve and fuel valve just to open and uh, close. You can uh, so you should first select the MPC. Now it's in normal mode. Please keep this to test mode. You have to change over the thing to the test mode. It will take about uh, 15 seconds. So and now you see the you have be, your MPC mode has been changed from normal to test mode. Once this screen comes, uh, see you have selected for number one unit. So only one MPC will activate at a time. So now if you can. Uh, give the start cyclic test okay if you do this you can see here the exhaust valve opening and closing will be indicated here you can see and uh, please watch out for the servo oil pressure base so this will start activating the exhaust valve only if you want to uh, now you have to give the stop command then only it will stop till the time it will be keep, it will be going on coming so again i have stopped now and uh, suppose if you want to do for the fuel fuel injector suppose uh, if you want to do uh, testing then you can click this and right now i don't want to and also you can give command of open to close open and close also if you give cyclic it will automatically open and close but if you want to manually open and manually close this option is there and uh, regarding fuel valve also it is there if you want to inject fuel to the cylinder manually and see whether if the if, you, uh, if the fuel valve is working properly or not you can give this command also um, now uh, this uh, port we have actually uh, planned for uh, under piston scaven inspe inspection so i don't want to you know make the piston top dirty we have come from a long voyage long sailing of about 40 days so I just want to inspect the piston as it is. So let it be like this. Uh, for your uh, learning sake, I just uh, uh, showed you this. But uh, one thing I want to tell you here is, um, when you do the cyclic test guys, like this you have to do it one by one. And later on you have to give the MPC mode also, you have to change it to normal once you complete the test. So, like this one by one unit you can do and uh, when you do the unit, one by one unit, when you do the cyclic test, please watch out for servo oil pressure guys. Why I am telling us, as engineers, when we do the cyclic test, suppose if we change exhaust valve or fuel valve, we may tend to do the cyclic test to see whether it's operating properly or not. But what I wanted to just uh, let you know also, there's one more reason. It gives the operation of the CCU in the sense basically when you put the MPC into test mode of the particular CCU that particular CCU fever valve also should work properly. What happened in our ship is which I intend to share with you one of the unit exhaust valve was giving knocking sound. So obviously we doubted the exhaust valve there is an issue and we have to change. But when we did, when we did the cyclic test we found that the servo oil pressure of that particular unit was not holding which indicates that the there is some malfunctioning uh, happening inside the FIVA. FIVA as you know very well it is having uh, uh, if inside the block you have basically it's a directional valve it, so there is some internal leak or there is a seal leak which we you which as you are aware we, we are not overhauling we just replace so if you have a problem with the FIVA and if you change the exhaust valve, you cannot sort out the issue. So uh, that's why I told you when you in this video, when you do one by one unit, no, 
please uh, keep the other pump in auto also other pump should not cut in that is why i i, I was uh, actually telling you like that and the servo oil pressure there should not be much fluctuation between the units if you see number 1 unit when we did it was only fluctuating between 221 to 224 maximum that is okay that is a very satisfactory thing but in that unit when we had the problem it came down to 170 bar and the standby pump started so we told we can come to a conclusion that the fever valve was not operating operating properly uh, also please note that particular unit fuel valve was operating properly so we should not what i am trying to tell if if you if you can argue that uh, fuel valve is not operating properly fuel valve also how it is injecting properly then that is why i just want to highlight you here we cannot be uh, very much assertive that uh, if the fuel valve it depends basically where was the internal leak in the fuel valve maybe in the fuel injection side maybe the things were okay so that's why the in the fuel valve we didn't have any issue but maybe there was an internal leak for the uh, other side also so just want to highlight you regarding this also guys because uh, same like you we also thought that you know exhaust valve is the culprit we we were about to change that but we just did this and we saved our downtime actually uh, which you can uh, another thing which i wanted to show you is Uh, apart from uh, fuel valve and exhaust valve there is some more uh, uh, testing in the mop which all these things as you know very well can be done only in the chief access there is another thing in the mop for the function testing okay there you can see here uh, actually you can show this mop here you have here if you have this actually the, the lines are coming you see you can follow this procedure okay there are some more function test for hcu taco and hps speed handle so you need to just follow the mop this mop needs to be updated to do in this mop so this also you can do if you if you are having a doubt in your if you have any taco failure problems for example dark taco set b failure taco set a failure if if the if the if you feel the sensor is not working where exactly is the fault you can find out by function testing because our common sense will tell us the taco when you get a taco for example i am telling when you get a taco failure alarm our first thing is to doubt the sensor but there is a full cycle here because uh which it will show you here where exactly is the culp is the issue happening so you can save lot of downtime guys that's why i just wanted to show show you this video i hope this video was useful to you and you enjoyed it a lot thank you guys